Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two for group B of this year's uh, women's Euro uh, jersey review. As I said, we're looking here at what is probably the group of death, if one would find uh, a such group in this uh, Euros, where we have in there, in the order of the seeding, Germany, Spain, Denmark and Finland, and I hung the four teams up there. It was a really hard choice to which team should I wear in the end. I wanted to have that I wear a different color in all the four videos, and that's why I'm wearing Germany. Yeah, it doesn't quite feel right, but yeah. We have two German <laughs> jerseys in here. Um, how am I how I'm gonna do this video? Well, I gathered the pictures from Footy Headlines. Uh, they had a nice overview of um, the uh, of all the women's jerseys for this Euro, and I will run through them by going from pot four to pot one. So we will start with Finland, and I'll give you always a rating between one and ten. Ten being the highest one being the lowest and i will also comment a little bit what i do like and what i do not like there i would say let's go uh straight in uh group b first team that we look at is finland uh where nike released for both the men's and the women's team uh the same uh set of jerseys um which i instantly liked is it as great as the last one where we had a little bit of gradient in this uh, Nordic cross or off-centered Nordic cross? Well, I gotta be honest, the uh, Euro jersey look uh, for the men looked a, a teeny bit better. But on the other side, if you would ask, have asked me, how about the would I design a perfect Finland jersey? This is it. This is actually what I would have loved uh, Nike to do for Norway too. I honestly think this looks quite awesome. Uh, yes. Will it be nice to have a little bit more grain in them? Maybe, but it's just so Finnish. It is a Finnish flag ra ra running around. And for national team jerseys, I always say, unless you have a very distinct look like Italy or Germany or the Netherlands, um, that is tried and tested, go as closely to the national flag as possible. And this is what, what, what they're doing there. So I cannot really fault Finland for that at all. Um, I have this earmark. Da -da -da -da. I want to have a white Finland jersey. I have had this earmark as the one. That one I probably should show trigger because I don't think it will sell out like crazy as the previous one. I'm going to give this uh, nine stars. I really, really like it, despite it being rather simple and even a templated jersey. I also really like uh, the away jersey. The pattern in there, yes, again, it's a template, and yes, again, also a little bit earmarked, but not as much. I mean, this is one of the most outstanding jerseys that have been released for this Euro. Don't get me, uh, there's no two ways about it, and it's all based on a template, but I really like this pattern on there. Now, what should this pattern be with the uh, slight gradient in, in there? Well, you can, it, it's fir trees, probably, probably, I could also see this as owl's feathers, which is also a uh, symbol for Finland. Uh, all over, it's very pleasing, and it's most importantly, super striking. I think uh, it really makes this jersey stand out. This is a special jersey. This is as unique of a jersey as you will see at these Euro Euros. And it is a little bit geographic and it takes a little bit the awesome Finnish nature. I would love to go to Finland, but you know, from what I know, Finland's na nature is just beyond everything else. It's another winner. Um, I think the only thing that turns me off a little bit are actually the sleeves. And for that reason, I also give this nine, but needless to say, Finland may not go far at these, uh, this year's Euros. They look awesome. And that jersey really, really hits it home for me. Staying in the far north, we go to a uh, defeated finalist from uh, 2017, Denmark. And this is one of the jerseys. Actually, all the remaining t uh, teams, the men's uh, teams have worn the women's jerseys to promote the sales. And we see a little bit why. If you look at it at first, there's nothing special. It is your typical Denmark jersey. I give it that. It really looks like if I would, uh, it is homo, it is red, it has the Danish um, uh, crest, which probably is a little bit too over elaborate, but meanwhile, I wouldn't want to see it without it. It's all fine. It's not as striking as, for instance, the all red jersey, um, although I really don't dislike this, 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 this one, but it's rather, rather plain. 
it's not a bad jersey and i think upon closer inspection you actually see there's a little bit more going on um because there's all these kind of weird lines that give the jersey up close a whole lot lot more structure than it would otherwise have does it vault the jersey into the upper echelon i wouldn't say so but i think it is enough to give it a six star yeah you can take this as a, your normal Denmark jersey. Uh, jersey. It has a little bit special in there. And frankly, the away jersey does very much the same, just inverting the colors. I do like that the crest actually is, sticks out a little bit more. I also think that the color is done uh, quite nicely with the red outline. That adds a little bit more to, to this jersey. I mean, at first I saw it and I said, ah, just a white jer uh, jersey. But when I see it now uh, in comparison with the red jersey, this one has actually a teeny bit more. If this was a straight, if, if you would use a straight color re reversal, uh, flip a red for uh, white and make a red jersey, I think this would actually lift the red jer uh, jersey also. Call me crazy. I'm actually going seven with this one. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with it. It, it remains with the lines. We have that in there and there's enough interest there. Uh, also note that the chevrons now are solid. Now, going to the pre-tournament favorites again, uh, at least when uh, regarding the bookies, although with, after many uh, problems, we might not see Spain a whole, whole lot. We see the new Spain women's jersey, which also fall under this general Adidas template. Uh, take a plain jersey, put everything cent centralized. Now, for Spain, actually, they have a slightly different color. It's not the greatest color, to be honest, because, you know, the way it ends is a little, little bit weird. It would be nicer to end in a point. But it keeps kind of the traditional colors of Spain. You know, you, we have here the yellow, which is always good. And then the sleeve cuts with the Spanish flag in there. That's a really, really nice touch. Um, I'm wondering if it wouldn't look better if the color itself would also be yellow or red or, you know, uh, do something what the sleeve does. It seems a little bit half-baked in that sense. It's also the first Spain jersey where we see the new Federation crest. Yes, they have a new Federation. It's not a big change because we still have the Spanish coat of arms and a simplified version. And then below the new uh, Spanish Federation uh, crest. Yeah, it's a redesign that um, it doesn't add, it doesn't add or subtract much uh, since uh, Spain jerseys have been monochrom uh, had monochromatic crests for a long time now. In fact, ever since the one Euro 2012, the Spain crest has been monochromatic. You see a pattern there? Yeah, exactly. If they go back to full colored crest, which is awesome, all my four Spain jerseys have full color colored color crest because it looks so awesome. Then I think Spain could win something again. But with that. Not much. Again, I think of all the Adidas jerseys released, uh, and yes, it ha it also suffers from the same presentation. Although here, actually, you can see the jersey hanging on the staircase there. Um, but of all the jerseys released, this one actually is one of the better ones, and I would even go with the seven. Again, full color crest would look better. I would love it a little bit more balanced. Not everything in the middle, but I think it's not a bad jersey per se. So uh, here we are fine. However, it is not something I can say about the away jersey, which, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Euro 2012 vibes without the tie uh, mark on there. It has nothing Spanish. This is just light blue with navy. And as I said already in my in the first part of this uh, video uh, of this review, uh, all the away jerseys have the same pattern on there. Uh, it doesn't get uh, better by the way it was the promo pick, which is uh, one of the worst promo picks out there. At least use a player and not a model in some weird look. I don't know what watch watch is doing. It. Let's go back to the normal jersey. <sighs> I have to say this is awful. <laughs> it is right up there for me with the England away jersey because there is nothing Spanish about this one. If the crest at least had some red on there, if there's a little bit red and a little bit yellow, I think I can believe that uh, this is a, a three star. I really, really, really don't like it. Now, as for the Germany home jersey, uh, also, this is now more typically what Adidas would do, the really thick color. 
and then the sleeve cuffs. Now, um, I have to say for Germany shirt, yes, the two stars above the crest look a little bit weird, but Germany, uh, the women have only been twice world champions. So uh, that's all right to me. I have to say for Germany jersey, this one actually looks really all right. It has a kind of an uh, 86 vibe to, to me. I especially like, uh, uh, it's, it's a kind of a mixture between 86 and I want to say 92 with the sleeve cuffs um, there. I really like the sleeve cuffs. Maybe, uh, you know, with the many Germany flags, maybe let, let like go around. It would look maybe a little, a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit off putting the German flag on the collar, which is a little bit off center. At least, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for symmetry. But as far as Germany jerseys go, I agree. This is really boring. It's a really boring jersey, but, uh, per se. Especially compared to this one, although most people hated this one. I mean, well, I'm in the camp that really likes this one. But I have, have to say, uh, my expectations for German German jersey are very close to what has been produced here. And for that, I have to applaud uh, the uh, Adidas. And I actually think that, again, for Germany, they did their best work. And I'm going to give this uh, an 8-star rating. And what, and what really uh, pleased me, again... It is the same template, but the away jersey uses the traditional German away colors of dark or forest green, which is something I've been missing for a long time. I mean, um, I genuinely want to see a green German away jersey, and I actually really like this. It has a, a little bit of the 1990 away jersey um, that had the Holland look um, and was worn against England in the semifinal. That, uh, that is the vibe that I get from this a little bit. Um, the stripes in... I think it looks here a little bit greenish, but if I look at the promo pic, I think it is white. I have to say this is also all right, but more on the boring side. I think it could have used maybe a flag trim here or there, or maybe, you know, make the collar white or the sleeve cuffs. Uh, a, a little bit more, but it's not bad. But uh, it's not as good as the home jersey, and for that reason, five stars and there you have it we are through with group b overall um i have to say this was not a bad looking group but it's not there was uh, except for finland there was nothing really really exciting in, in there but it's also that the look was was not except for the spain away jersey nothing really was messed up so uh you gotta take as it comes but this is where you come in i really would like to know uh what you think about these jerseys whether you agree with my assessment of these have I been too lenient or not uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye hey just in case you enjoyed this video here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too also please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my sofa universe and with that have a wonderful day bye